Tom O'Connor joins us now from New York. He's a senior foreign policy writer at Newsweek. Thank you so much for being with us today on uh, the show, Tom. Um, now, we're already seeing an effect this deal uh, is having on global food prices, which is, of course, a step in the right direction. Do you think, however, implementing uh, this deal in real time will come with its challenges, given the security concerns that both Russia and Ukraine has raised? Absolutely, there will be challenges. And we're already seeing those challenges in the first 24 hours of the, the deal being struck with the cruise missile strike from the Russians on Odessa port. Um, we're, we're seeing uh, also just tensions from both sides, conflicting understandings of what the deal really means. We're seeing Russians uh, emphasizing that this also means that they'll be able to export their own grains and fertilizer, perhaps also import some farming equipment. So certainly there, those challenges exist already. The question is, has enough diplomatic uh, frameworks and, and roadworks been put down that would allow this deal to go forward, um, despite the obvious uh, con con contrasting opinions and rival views of the parties involved. Now, it looks like we're off to a relatively decent start with the Coordination Center uh, starting its work. Um, there seems to be some optimism that this could actually um, take take place, that the beginning of these shipments could begin um, quite shortly. Of course, the, the, the this season's harvest is a priority right now. But for the future of this, of course, it's still very much in question. Right. And uh, Ukraine has particularly mentioned that it's concerned that Russia uh, could use these safety corridors that will be built to export uh, grain, uh, that Russia will use these safety corridors in attacking those very crucial ports, the three ports that will be used to export the grain. We're already seeing some attacks, as you mentioned, on those ports, particularly Odessa. Um, how seriously should Ukraine take uh, Russia's promise in making this deal? Well, it's difficult, obviously, because there's a lot of mistrust right now, and there has been since even before the conflict between the two warring parties, um, particularly, especially with the other ceasefire arrangements that were made months ago, and, and there were rival accusations that the other side had violated them. Um, particularly, the West was looking at Russia, um, accusing it of violating some of those, those, those uh, agreements that were made. So, of course, right now, there is a, a lack of trust between the two parties. Um, at the same time, I would say that Turkey's role this is important. Um, Turkey is, of course, a NATO ally. It has expressed condemnation for the war. But because of Russia and Turkey's relationship, um, any sort of uh, a blatant violation of this agreement and any sort of weaponization of this agreement would certainly sour uh, Russia-Turkey relations. And I don't think that's something that Russia wants to see right now. All right, Tom O'Connor, thank you so much for joining us here on Tier 2 World and sharing that insight with us.